Welcome to Dice Breakers. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at Cash and Guns, a party game about shooting your friends and taking their money. Everyone plays as criminals trying to split up the loot after a heist. Players will use a gun to intimidate their opponents out of their share of the loot. But not everybody's gun is fully loaded. Who will make the best use of deadly force, bluffing, and negotiation? Whoever it is will get the most loot and will be the winner. Let's learn Cash and Guns. Cash and Guns comes with eight foam guns, some wound tokens, some character tokens, a Godfather marker, a new Godfather card, power cards, bullet cards, a diamond token, and a deck of loot cards. To set up, give each player a foam gun. Once everyone is done playing with their gun, they should also get a hand of eight bullet cards, five click cards, and three bang cards, and a character card. Shuffle up all the loot cards and deal them into eight piles of eight cards. Each one of these piles will provide the loot for one round of the game. Lastly, randomly determine a player to receive the Godfather's desk. That player is now the Godfather. If you like, you can now randomly deal each player a face-up power card. These cards provide each player with a unique special power they can use during the game. We'll leave these cards out of our explanation, but they're a great way to mix things up. You're now ready to start playing Cash and Guns. There are two ways a player can win Cash and Guns, either by having the most money at the end of the eighth round, or by being the last player surviving after all other players are eliminated. During each round, loot will be dealt out. We'll get into the types of loot in a bit, but most of it is worth money, and money is how you win. Then, there will be a standoff, and everyone will either chicken out, get shot, or end up with some of the loot. To set up each round, spread out the eight loot cards face up in the center of the table. Place the new Godfather card next to those. Everyone now secretly chooses a bang or click card from their hand of bullet cards and places it face down on the table in front of them. If it's a bang card, their gun is now loaded. If it's a click card, their gun is unloaded. Once all players have selected a bullet card, they should be holding their gun. The Godfather now counts to three. On three, each player points their gun at someone else at the table. The Godfather can now choose one player, and that player must point at a different target. Once that's done, everyone should be pointing their gun at someone, and the game of chicken begins. The Godfather will count to three one more time. On three, each player has to either duck by laying down their character, or say Banzai. Every player who ducked is out of the round. They won't be eligible to receive any loot but they won't risk getting shot. Everyone who ducked discards their bullet card, face down. Everyone who was pointing at a player who ducked also discards their bullet card, face down. Now, reveal the bullet card of every player left in the round. Whenever a click is revealed, nothing happens. When a bang is revealed, the targeted player lays down their character and is eliminated from the round, and they take a wound token. If a player ever has three or more wound tokens, they're eliminated from the game completely. Now, the only players left are the ones who didn't duck and didn't get shot. These are the players that get to divide the loot. Starting from the Godfather and proceeding clockwise, each remaining player chooses one loot card from the table until none remain. Loot can be bills, diamonds, paintings, first aid kits, or clips. Except for the first aid kits and clips, which are resolved immediately, loot is kept until the end of the game and may be kept face down. Bills come in denominations between $10,000 and $20,000 and are worth the indicated amount of money. Diamonds are worth between $1,000 and $10,000, and if one player has the most diamonds at the end of the game, they get the $60,000 bonus diamond. Paintings increase in value depending on how many a player has at the end of the game, 
A set with one painting in it is worth $4,000, but a set of 10 paintings is worth $500,000. If a player takes a first aid kit, they immediately discard all of their wounds if they have any. If a player takes a clip, they can discard a card from their hand and replace it with a bang card from the discard pile. Lastly, instead of taking a card, a player can opt to flip the new Godfather card over and take the Godfather's desk. They'll be the Godfather until another player selects the new Godfather card in a future round. Once the new Godfather card is flipped, it can't be selected for the remainder of this round. When all the loot has been taken, the round is over. Deal out new loot, making sure to flip over the new Godfather card, if needed. Keep playing until the end of the eighth round. At this point, all surviving players tally up the points from their bills, diamonds, and paintings, and whoever has the highest total wins. Cash and Guns takes the fun of waving around a foam gun and wraps a game around it. This game is easy to teach, but it's still interesting to veterans, and it's exciting and fast-paced with as many as eight players. Thanks for learning Cash and Guns. Go ahead and check out our Let's Play Cash and Guns video. We'll give you until the count of three.